final hit, uh, hit for event 102, women's two meters back, breaststroke. The match champions Aga Khan won all the age categories from the age of 9 to 15 in both women and men class. Ten schools with over 200 competitors were part of the annual gala. Gwen Hill emerged second with 2,572 points, followed by Kampala International School, Uganda, Taiba International School, Macau University, British School of Kampala, Games Cambridge, Uganda Matters SS, Gaza High School, and then Word of Life International School came last with 87 points. Donald Ukale, president of the Uganda Swimming Federation, says the event is to help them prepare for various tournaments like upcoming Kana events. We also use this event as a selection platform to, to identify swimmers who will be able to represent Uganda in the upcoming Kana Zone 3 event. We also have the uh, Africa Championships in South Africa, the World Championships in December. So we use these kind of events to identify and groom swimmers. And also for the future, we're able to identify upcoming swimmers who will play a lot of emphasis and follow up as we, they, they develop that. While celebrating Uganda's independence, Roka reminded the government to continuously give a hand in sports for its essential in the country's development. As, as the Swim Federation, we're very happy that sports is one of those uh, disciplines that is able to unify the country. As uh, we celebrate our independence day today, there is no doubt that swimming in Uganda has also come a long way, like, just like the country. We are still a young country, so we are seeing the same similar issues we are seeing in the country. Swimming has improved, but there's still a lot more to do. So we believe that in many ways, what's happening in the swimming uh, family in spite of what's happening in the country politically. So we have come a long way, both as swimming as a, as, a, as a country, but we also have a long way to go to make swimming even much better. And we're very hopeful that through the support we're getting from different people like Excel, Vodafone, Renzori, Kampala Parents, Rupareya Group, we should be able, just like the country is getting support from different partners and revenue, resource mobilization, we should be able to say that once the tide rises, all boats, including the sports boat, will rise. Uganda swimmers are to take part in the Kana Zone 3 events that are to be held in Chigali from 19th to 20th November, African Senior Championships in South Africa on 16th to 23rd October, as well as World Championships in Canada from 5th to 11th December. Olivia Nakate, WBS TV Sports.